Oh, look at that engine bay. She's coming along quite nicely. That said, I'm ready to show you guys one of the coolest products that I'm actually going to be installing in my single turbo RX-7. It's a water injection system. And not only is it injecting water into my engine, and this is the nozzle, I'll explain the mechanics of it later, it's going to be injecting it right into those gorgeous little fan blades down there. It's called pre-turbo water injection. Um, I have been very convinced at its, uh, at its abilities that not only does it affect in a positive light the, the compressor map, meaning uh, makes the turbo if more efficient, but it also has a nice cooling effect on uh, your exhaust gas temperatures. Uh, on a rotary, those babies are up at like 1600 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere up in there. So uh, detonation, uh, combustion, all those crazy things that can happen get a little bit scary on a rotary engine. So water injection is, is definitely one of the holy grails of a solid running RX-7 or rotary engine vehicle. Let me show you some of the components that are involved and uh, you'll be expecting more when I'm done, but it's that simple. Uh, these guys make it look good. My buddy Brett Vogel on the RX-7 forums, his name's like Dude Man Zone RX-7. <laughs> it's spelled really funny. Uh, built this kit, and let me tell you, he built it well. I, I paid him for it, and I am very pleased with the work. Here's the water, uh, con you know, container. It's in the engine bay, which reduces the, uh, you know, the length of hose and a lot of the other components that can go wrong with a rear-mounted kit. This is a, you know, you're gonna put distilled water into there. And just to prevent you from throwing rocks or any other contaminants into your turbo, nice little filter. As I showed you briefly before, this is your gorgeous water injection. That's the nozzle right there. He's staring at us, smiling. This system is a lot like, do you ever remember your grandma's uh, perfume bottle with the little squeezy thing on the back and sprayed air and water and, and made her smell horrible? This system is like that, but it, instead of making you smell horrible, it makes you safer on your engine. On this side over here, that's air flowing into the nozzle. That air is being generated from the turbocharger, so there's no pump involved. There's no electric pump, which is, I love. It's so simple. Over here is the water feed. From here, traveling down through here, you see this black box. That's actually a solenoid controlling when the water is going to begin flowing. You have some adjustments down here, too. That's pretty cool. This system is signaled by this little guy. It's a little boost sensor that tells you, hey, you know, and it's adjustable, that lets you kick the system on at a certain PSI of boost. In my case, it's going to be 8 PSI because um, too low and you just empty your tank quickly. Too high and you're not getting the benefits of water. So this is, like I said, a pre-turbo. I'm going to be mounting it into the front air filter. So um, inside of there, and I'll have to be careful, but this thing's going to look good once it's, once it's done. That's it. That, those are all the major components short of the wiring for both the, uh, the uh, water, the air pressure, and the, uh, the signal wire. Aside from that, I have water injection. I'll be doing a couple other videos on water injection as I get the system installed. Just want to show you um, that it's not as intimidating as I thought it would be. So I'll catch up with you guys soon on my later developments on it.